Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, we're making yet another delicious recipe. Today, I'm showing you guys how to make this super easy Tuscan chicken pasta. This is your typical 30 minute meal when you come home from work or you just want something quick. This is absolutely delicious. I cannot wait for you guys to try this out. But before I show you guys how it's done, you know the drill, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoy, subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right in. All right, guys, we're going to jump right into it. I will leave the measurement below for you guys, so please check that out. I am using two chicken breasts. I am going to slice that right in the middle so we can have four pieces. That way, our chicken can cook super fast because this is a super easy, quick meal. So this is my seasoning. I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, paprika, Italian seasoning, a little bit of dry pepper flakes, as well as some lemon pepper. Give that a quick mix, just like so, and then we'll start seasoning our chicken breast. Now here's what you're going to do. Save about one tablespoon of that seasoning mix for later. In the remaining, guess what you're going to do is season your chicken breast with that. So before I start seasoning, I am going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil to the chicken, rub it in, give it a nice little massage. Then we are going to generously season our chicken breast. Now I'm going to flip it over and season the other side as well. Once I'm done seasoning my chicken, I am going to place it on the side, moving on to my pasta. Let that chicken marinate for a little bit, okay? By thirst, I'm inspired by worth. To boil the pasta, I added four cups of water to a pot. Then we're going to season the pasta water with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, about a teaspoon of salt. Cover it, allow it to come to a boil. Once it started boiling, I am going to pour in my pasta. And I'm sorry you guys couldn't see it because of the steam. Sorry about that. Once my pasta is nice and al dente, I am going to pour the hot water out and just let it sit. Don't rinse it, okay? So that way, the sauce can cling to the pasta better. To a preheated cast iron, I am going to add about three tablespoons of olive oil. Then we're going to gently place our chicken breast to it. We're going to cook the chicken breast for about seven to 10 minutes per side until they're nice and golden brown on both sides. Now look how gorgeous our chicken breast looking and it smell amazing of course. Now I'm going to set them aside to cook the remaining of the chicken breast. However, allow the chicken to sit for a little bit, to rest a little bit, will make it more juicy, okay? I'm inspired by thirst, I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired you first. I'll write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did. Sh I know it hurts. But something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by something deep inside. 
Now, take a good look at the chicken. Come on now, it's looking amazing. So now I am going to slice open one lemon. I am going to use the juice just to deglaze the bottom of the cast iron a bit. Okay, that helps a lot. It's a new trick that I just literally just learned it. And then I am going to place about one tablespoon of butter in there. Once that is nice and melted, guess what we're going to add, you guys? Yes, some baby tomatoes. We're going to slice them open, oh, cut them in half, <laughs> and we're going to place them in there. We're going to saute them just to release all that sweet tomatoey flavor and also i'm going to add one teaspoon of minced garlic in there as well we're going to cook that together until the tomato is nice and soft and releasing all that beautiful color in the juice as well and of course once your garlic started to fragrance you are going to add your heavy cream in Now remember that tablespoon of seasoning that I told you guys to save. You are going to add it to your sauce. Give that a quick mix just like that. Then you are going to grab some spinach, some baby spinach. You are going to add that in. Now you can add as much spinach as you want. It's up to you guys at this point. I show you guys the basic, you can customize it to your liking. Now I'm going to grab my chicken breast, look at that. You guys, look at that. Tell me this chicken doesn't have flavor. It's super flavorful and of course it's so juicy. Now I'm going to dice my chicken breast and add it to my sauce. And also I'm going to save and also I'm going to save the rest of the two chicken breasts to garnish at the end. So I'm going to place that in there and look at that juice, that sauce. Don't be afraid to pour that in. That is a flavor right there. Now I'm going to add some grated, freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Just add that in there. And also if you want, you can add some mozzarella cheese as well. But I'm going to use just Parmesan cheese for today's recipe. And then guess what? Guess what's coming in? You know it. We're going to add in our pasta. You guys, this recipe, when I tell you, this recipe will literally take you about 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes. Now I'm going to sprinkle in the fresh basil, you guys. The aroma of this dish is just enough for you to eat it. It's so flavorful and the smell is just, oh my goodness. Now I'm going to add in my pasta, give it a stir. I am going to add some more cheese, however, because I want it to be more cheesy. And you guys, this is basically the dish. I hope you guys try this one because if you're a pasta lover and you haven't tried Tuscan chicken pasta, what are you doing to yourself? Come on now. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You watching right now, help your sister out. And also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed today's recipe. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.